What's up guys, I wanted to make a new video about an anime series I rewatched recently, which was a really good one. I've seen it about twice, this was my third time watching it. I just kind of wanted to remember everything before I made a review. I've been kind of busy on my Steam uh, free-to-play series, so I just wanted to weave an anime uh, video in there, talking about Legendary Gambler Tetsuya. So this is an anime that starts off like right after World War II, focuses on like a rundown rural Japan that's like trying to rebuild and Tetsuya a young man that just moved to I think it was Shibuya I'm not too sure what the city's name is I can't remember off the top of my head but he starts gambling and he's basically getting money from people and he was taught like at a young age that luck is like the most important thing and when a man's luck is up it's over but he learns a very valuable lesson because while bullying players he makes the mistake of challenging a old pro named Boshu. Boshu is like one of my favorite characters. The relationship between Tetsuya and Boshu are amazing because Boshu's like that old school teach people like the harshest way possible kind of guy and he doesn't do it just because he hates the dude he's just doing it so he makes sure he learns the lesson. At first it's like he doesn't even want to teach him and to, uh, then once Tetsuya kind of proves himself he starts teaching him little things and then he starts to treat him like a partner. And then after that, when they've been partners for a little bit, he starts treating him like a rival. They go through like all the stages of like a relationship together. But they've Tetsuya has always had respect for Boshu. And he's earned it because he's by far the best gambler in the town. Um, this anime is pretty dark and not dark, like gritty. It's like a gritty type feel. Like they're in a dark environment. There's not many colors. And it's like the underbelly of Japan where they're trying to, like, these people are trying to make their living off gambling. And Boshu teaches Tetsuya something very important. Luck is, you need luck. It's a very important thing. But there's also skill. And skill to them is, like, underhanded tricks, little cheating things that you can do to, like, set yourself up for the best possible chance of success. So unlike most gambling animes where, like, Akagi won't cheat unless he really has to, or one-outs, uh... Toka won't do it unless he has to. This is an anime where cheating is like readily acceptable and like trying to figure out how the enemy is cheating is very important to figuring out how you can win. They have like these tricks to call it stacking the tiles and this is like a regular occurrence thing. Like these are people are doing this to survive and that's a very good point that uh, Boshu makes. This is not some kid's game on the corner. Everybody's doing this to survive and they will pick on the weakest link to make sure they can do that. None of the characters, like any of the characters that get challenged, are actually weak either. Like everybody's the challenge. There's nobody that just gets like amazingly overwhelmed, or very few people. They don't show it too much. If they do get overwhelmed, they don't really like focus on them. It's just like one-off gambling game before they challenge the main enemy. The enemies are really well done too. Um, they have like some really good characters that like make you despise them, and some of them. They make you despise them at starts at the start, but once you start to understand them, you kind of feel a little bit more sympathetic to them. One of the uh, Tetsuya's friends, like the first character he actually like considers a true gambler, gets drug addicted to Hereupon, which is meth. And uh, they even give like during the episodes with this character, they f like give you disclaimer uh, about what Hereupon is, and this is just a fictional kind of thing for I guess protection purposes when the show was aired. And this show was made in 2001 so the graphics are kind of aged but it, I don't think it takes away from it. I think and there's a lot of like they do a lot of foreshadowing and stuff which is uh, like pretty cool for the story like storytelling kind of things. I'm not going to spoil the ending too much or I won't spoil the ending for you at all. But you should watch it. Uh, I'm getting a little bit older in age, so I, it took it a little bit more emotionally than, than I did the first two times. But it is one of those shows that I think if you give it a chance, you'll thoroughly enjoy. Other characters, like even Tetsuya, he like develops. There's a time skip, and he becomes a very more mature gambler. And he actually gets his own student, like Boshu. And it kind of shows you the greatness of how Boshu was, because even though Tetsuya's like trying to train the guy, and he's he's a pretty good teacher, he's you could tell he's not as good as if a teacher of Boshu, or maybe his student just didn't have the caliber that Tetsuya had. 
Because Boshu even said when he met Tetsuya, he knew he found, like, the diamond in the rough, probably the best gambler that could ever be. Because his natural born luck and um, his, like, sleight of hand that he picks up from Boshu. Characters, like, the story arcs are pretty well done. Like, all of them kind of interweave. And it really keeps you interesting, interested. It doesn't really, like... It's pretty dynamic. There's no sh part that it just kind of like repeats. Like you go here, you fight him. You go here, you fight him. Like you learn more about these characters. And usually these characters have a backstory with each other. Or you'll learn more about the character's backstory and figure out how like through gambling Tetsuya can either help them or hurt them. Because if they're the enemy, they're gonna, he's taking their money most of the time. But Tetsuya does lose, which is, I think, important to an anime series. When your character's pretty much undefeatable, it kind of loses interest. There has to be those characters that can, like, challenge them. And they add in characters like, uh, gosh, I can't remember his name. But you'll see him. He's, like, kind of an enforcer for the underworld kind of guy. And he's, like, everybody respects him. And he's always there to give guidance to characters. And he's an awesome character. He's a... Like a really cool dude, but once you get on his bad side, he's like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to have to take your fingers, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, this is a gambling anime. You're not supposed to be doing that stuff, man. People need their fingers, bro. <laughs> That's how they're making their living. One character kind of made me mad, but it's human. Like, he had a lot of arrogance, and it's Tetsuya's student. Like, he does some things in the show. I'm just like, come on, man. Like, this, you are letting this man down. Like, he has done his best to raise you, and you're just letting him down. And people age in this anime. Like, more morality is a real... Mortality? Mortality is, like, a big issue in this, because um, characters, as they age, kind of lose their skills, lose their touch. And this is a very important thing, because this is, like, when characters start losing their touch in this world, they're done. Like, there's no future for them in gambling anymore, and that's how, like, some of them made their whole living. So, and once people find your weakness in this world, they are picking at it. They are trying to get all your money. And people go bankrupt. Like, this, they've won all this money and they can lose it all just because somebody has, like, some clever scheme at, like, how they do their Mahjong. And this is one of those shows I don't understand Mahjong too much. But, even without the understanding, it explains things pretty well enough that I can understand the situation. And I can feel the atmosphere of what's going on. So when somebody gets like a legendary hand or something, they hype it up enough that I understand it, which is good. Shows like that are really enjoyable for me for some reason. Even though I don't get Mahjong, I could never play it. Uh, like a car, no go. I could never play go. I tried it on Yahoo, and I just got dumpstered. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> yeah, so give this anime a chance if you haven't already. If you like older style animes, you'll definitely like it. If you don't like the art style, still give it a little bit of a chance. I think you'll like the story. It's called Legendary Gambler Tetsuya. Thanks for watching as always. I just wanted to weave a video in between my uh, gaming reviews. So, and if you uh, have anything you want to ask about the anime or have any like input you want to do because you watched it, feel free to comment. This is one of those obscure animes that I just kind of randomly found. I was trying to look for like a gambling anime after Akagi. I think I found this one the same time I watched Saki. It was a gambling anime. It was, uh, was kind of bad. <laughs> it was like not very enjoyable. It was like a chibi art gambling anime. I did not like that one too much. Watched the first season. But yeah, thanks for watching as always. Bye!